Hey guys, welcome to Elder on Elder on Dreams to Destiny. Uh, I'm probably not pronouncing that exactly correct, but that's okay. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm known to mispronounce words, so it's fine. It's, it's no problem. Uh, I backed this game on Kickstarter months ago, and I uh, have been waiting on it to, to release so that I can do uh, start a Let's Play on it because it looks really fun. Uh, in short, if you don't know what this game is. Uh, this is the short description of what it is uh, via the Kickstarter uh, site. So, it's a story-driven role-playing game. Rescue people, build a base, farm, craft, explore, action battle system. It's a classic RPG. Uh, I'm going to read some of the features real quick, and then we'll get into playing it. Uh, Zelda-style role-playing game, story-driven adventure, real-time combat system. Grow stronger with each dungeon you master. Uh, skills. Crafting and farming. So you can craft and farm and uh, take dungeons down and all that kind of stuff too. Uh, go fishing just because you can. So you can go fishing in this game. You can own a farm. Become a farmer. It's an adventure in itself. Uh, restore a plot of land so that you can farm fish build a guild. Uh, so lots of stuff to do in this game, guys. And I'm really looking forward to this. And there's also missions where you rescue various people. Uh, they will offer you quests, skills, and other services. Uh, find, collect relics and trophies. And, of course, the epic music that is in the game. So, uh, just some of the features. Uh, it's original music created specifically to accompany the storytelling experience. If you've never heard of this game, uh, you really should check it out on Steam. Uh, it is greenlit, so... Uh, I guess it's out now, but... Um, yeah, you should really go check this game out. Uh, if you like the dungeon crawler, top-down, kind of, not exactly top-down, but, uh, the Zelda-style, uh, top-down games. Uh, I played a few minutes of it just to kind of get the feel of it. And, uh, we're gonna start a new game now. Jason! Jason! Come and find me! I need your help! Jason, stay here! I need to mysteriously leave in the middle of the night on an urgent, unexplained errand. Get back in bed and I will see you in the morning. You need, good, you need a good sleep as well as we'll practice those moves for the contest in the morning. Remember, arrows to move. Move, uh, mouse click or enter to interact. So, gives you a little basic rundown on what we need to do. Strange, I was temporarily paralyzed, but now that the old man has left, I can move again. I like the introduction. It's funny. So, when little bubbles pop up, you can click on stuff. Work in progress. A book of things implemented and things yet to come. Hey then, it's over here. Nothing... Huh. What that is in a second. Notes on adventuring. Click on objects around the world. Not everything is clickable. Clues can be found after certain things happened. Hey then. Say the same thing again. Nothing, nothing. All right, let's try this guy out. You found triple chocolate double mint ice cream, but it melted in your hands. Shame. Maybe next time you should use a spoon. That's just mean. I mean, that is just downright mean. Another chest. You found a spoon. Of course I found a spoon. Damn it. Uh, let's see. So, when you start off, you're just kind of adventuring. If I'm not mistaken, the voice came from the north. Okay? Well, this is north, and this is our only path north, so we're going to take it. Come, help me. I need someone to rescue me. This looks like a goblin of some sort. Wait a second, you're not a princess in distress. This better be a dream. Oh no. Oh, this is no dream. This is very much a nightmare. Oh god. That way. Stop running. Dinner should stand still and be eaten. Sorry, dude. That ain't happening. I gotta go. Come back here. You're making me very angry. Ah. Oh, the alarm's going off. Jason, wake up this very minute. I'm sick to the back teeth with you. Anti-flow. 
I was good enough to buy you that bloody alarm clock for your birthday last year, and this is how you repay me. Treating me like your own personal farmyard rooster. Expecting me to wake you up every morning. The next time your teacher wants to speak with me about your timekeeping, I will take away that gate of yours. She seemed angry. Uh, get out of bed, have a lion. Um, do we want to be good or evil? Let's get out of bed. Oh, it was just a dream. Though being chased by a horrid monster seems like much better fate than school. I better get ready. You can control duration by using directional keys, WSF key. If you like, you can activate some items, learn more information, progress the story by clicking on certain items. Try clicking on the pile of clothes like next to the drawers. Uh, left click to activate, interact. Okay, so we got all that. Uh, you put the clothes on, now you just need your school timetable. Okay, we'll find the timetable. I really, really, really should shower, but I don't. Ha I did have one last night. Well, then why should you shower? I like how you can't click on the toilet. That's funny. Why can't we click? in here. Did I really look through any flows drawers? Yes. Yuck. Oh, we lost one. We lost one good point. So there's a good and evil aspect to the game. My sister's room. I know better than to go in here. She's worse than the monster in my dreams. Okay, then well, let's, I guess, head downstairs. Over here. The piano. I can play piano, piano, piano. I can play a piano. I'm a music man. Okay, then. You say so, dude. Uh, fan, magical beast. Fan, magical beast, and where not to find them. A guide to keeping safe in the fan magical world. Okay, then. Nothing useful here. So, while I'm roaming around here, keep in mind that this is just the introduction of the game to kind of get you used to a dustpan for panning dust. Uh, to kind of get you used to the way the game uh, operates and things you need to be looking out for, that kind of stuff. So we are going to get into some actual story in just a minute. So keep that in mind. Hey, you found your school timetable. Good deal. Let's go. Out we go. Bus stop. Oh, this is not the way to school. I need to make it way to now. Mr. Badu will have a reason to punish me. There's a bus stop to the west. I should check there. Okay. So to the west. I'm guessing this is west. What's up? Hey, has the school bus been, uh, been yet? Been by yet? Yes. Come by only a few minutes ago. Blast! I just missed it. If I take the road to the west and then head north towards the shops, I will be there in no time. Okay, then. Let's head out. Woo! it come on come on why is the shop not open yet i need milk for the office oh that's this not it i'll never get to school on time at this rate mr badu will kill me i know i'll take a shortcut shortcut is just behind me i'll cut through the park and i'll be at school gates in no time uh go you start walking along the shortcut you'll be at school in no time yay uh, stop sticking on stuff, please. Thank you. Nice. Ooh. That's strange. I haven't seen that hut here before. Uh, I haven't seen that hut before. The park rangers must have cleared away some of the trees and bushes. Huh. I'd love to explore it now, but I really should make my way to school. I'll come back this way after and have a better look around. Okay. I'm going to school. I'm going to go to school. I'll come back and explore later. Should I? Uh, let's just go to school. We're gonna be we're gonna be the good kid this playthrough. Hey, there's a person. Claire. Hey, J oh, somebody knows me. Hey, Jason. I see you're late for school too. If we hurry, we can hopefully make it into class on time. And if you you know if you press shift, you can run. That will get you places much faster, especially if you're late. Good to know. Oh, my first class is with history. Mr. Badu, I should make my way there now. Hopefully I can sneak in without him noticing me, noticing I'm late. 
Game saved, quest updated. Can't talk to this person. History class, let's see. The library, what's this thing? To help with pupil morale, we have introduced some music. Oh, sweet. Would you like to play background school music? Yes. Download era, I guess no music then. Oh, well that's kind of mean to tip me with that. English class. Uh, math class. Looks like a bathroom. And that looks like a bathroom, so up the stairs we go. History class. Found it. Cool. Mr. Badu says, Jason, late again. Why don't you stand in the corner until you have reflected on your timekeeping skills? Or just timekeeping, but whatever. We're going to go stand in the corner. Thanks, Mr. Badu. I can't stand here all lesson. It's too boring. Hmm. What is this on the wall? What is this? All the wall. At the wall? On the wall? Looks like some form of note. Hmm. Hey, guess what? Mr. Badu is short-sighted. If you can keep out of his field of view and find your way to my desk, you might find a surprise. So that's this telling me that. So if he's short-sighted, we want to wait for him to go that way. Right? And then up and over and down. We got told on. I bet it's this one right here. Because, you know, I did play through some of this and I already know this. It's this one right here. Um, it's the only one in the room, and it took me like two tries to figure out. It's the only one in the room that looks different from the other desk. Every other desk has a blue book on it. This one has an open book. So, if you look... Crap. If you look for little things like that, you should have no... Tr crap. You should have no issue uh, figuring little puzzles out uh, in the beginning of the game. That's that's all I can tell you. I don't know about the, the rest of it, but... Uh, the beginning of the game, the puzzles are kind of tricky, to be fair. This must be the desk the boy was talking about. Uh, there's a message carved into the desk. Well done, you made it past Mr. Badu. If you ever need help in the future, just look me up. Or look for my boards. Bill. Okay, Bill, appreciate it. Uh, after another enthralling history lesson, which you paid very close attention to, the teacher just misses class. Quest updated. Cool. Uh, where my Q? Uh, lessons. I mean, quest log. There we go. Storyline. Explore the hut. Ten geography class. Okay. Is it, it may be this one. One across. The, oh, no, it is this one. Okay. Uh, where is everyone? Okay. Maybe I should try to work. Should try and work out where everyone is hiding first. Okay, so this one's a little more complicated puzzle. Um... This one, you start here, and you get an L. And then you basically have to go around to every desk that does not give you this notification. Hmm, nothing here. This isn't right. So find every desk that doesn't do that, that just does this when you click on it. Nothing. Does nothing while you click on it. And then this is your starting point. How strange. The letter L has appeared on the blackboard. So, again, keep in mind, you do not want the desk. You have to go around and click every one of them to figure out which one says what to start with. So you want the ones that say nothing. And since I've already done this, I know the order of these for the most part. And I think it is this one. It spells luck. I don't think I'm finished here yet. I think it's this one here. Oh, it's that one. So, you see what I'm saying? You have to go around and click on all these things to get them to do different things. Crap. We'll get through this in a second. And there. And here. And here. There we go. Wow, a chest. So, we got a chest to open up. There's a message inside. Pay attention to the board. Bill. Pay attention to the board. How peculiar. Who is this Bill? 
Maybe there are more answers in art class and better treasure than a lousy note. Quest updated. Cool. We're going to head out. Go to art class. Is that right? Yeah. If it's across over here. Science class. Nope. Not that one. Art class. There we go. Jason, quick, you have to get out of here. Brick and his bully boys are out to get you. They're always out to get me, apparently. Why haven't you left yet? He's going to kill you. I can't run forever. Are you crazy? There's three of them. Each one of them is twice the size of you. You can't fight them alone. Maybe you could help me. I'd love to help you, Jason. But you know Zara gets insanely jealous when she sees me helping anyone else. Okay, then. Hey, Jason, how are you doing? I'm afraid I may be in a spot of bother. How so? Has Brick been causing you problems again? Yes. Trouble, that's an understatement. I think I'm about to become a, uh, become living challenged. I think that's a living challenge. Yes, you know, dead, going into the fertilizer business. Yes. I didn't realize you were becoming a farmer. No, you know, checking the grass from underneath. I still farm talk, Jason. Deader than a doornail. Sleeping with the fishes. Kick the bucket. Ah, I get you. Sounds like you have a severe case of euphemism. Very funny, Daryl. But seriously, can you help me? Jason, you know me. I'm a joker, not a fighter. But I will tell you one thing. Brick doesn't like getting his hands dirty. Okay? I guess this is Brick up here, so we're having to make our way around the room. Hey, do you want to play a game? I don't have time for games. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. Caught red-handed. Your hands are now covered in red paint. Cool. I wonder. So down here you have a garden attack. I wonder if we can... No. Jason, you're dead meat. Uh oh, that didn't work. That blow to the head made you forget all the information you learned in this room. Oh, crap. Okay. All right, let's speed back through this here. And do this number again. And... There we go. Okay. Oh no, one of Brick's bully, Brick bullies is like, you can't fight them alone, you need some help. Yes, I know that. See? You hide, I'll find. Uh, okay, let's play. One. Why am I playing hide and seek in an open room or nowhere to hide? That's what I want to know. Two, three, five. Oh no, it didn't even go three, it just went five. Found you, found you, found you. Yes, because I was standing right in front of you. You're not very good at hiding, are you? Take this, it might help you with your hiding. What is it? It's an invisibility cloak, plus one. Cool, right? Yes, very much so, but uh, I don't see anything. <clears throat> exactly, it's working already. How do I know you're not just messing with me? You big unbeliever, I'll show you. Ta-da, can you see me now? Uh, that's amazing. I can't believe it actually works. Wait a second, I can't undo the zipper. I'm gonna be invisible forever. No, not forever, just until you get the zipper stuck. Phew, Zara's gone. I think I can now help you defeat Brick. I think I know how you can defeat Brick. He is scared of the color green. Oh, green. Okay. So, there are three pots of paint here. Red, blue, and green. Which color pots do you put in your hands? Green. Covered in green paint. Sweet. All right, now. Jason, you're dead meat, says Brick. And we guard with green paint. Brick, I mean you no harm. I have no weapon. My hands are empty. Your hands, they are... Filthy and green. Get away from me. 
Ah! Yes, go away, Brick. Brick has made a hasty retreat, leaving you to concentrate on creating your next art masterpiece. Very good. That looks like my drawings in real life. That's how I actually draw things. Hmm. Maybe art is not for me. I better be getting to my next class. Quest updated. Okay, what uh, next class is it? It is science class? Yeah, science class. Okay, cool. Bye, guys. See you later. Thanks for all your help. So this was science, right? This was. Okay. Uh, what to do here? This one I did not get to, so this one may take me a little longer to figure out. Maybe some cuts in between this and say, hey, guys, I'll be back with you in a minute and all that kind of stuff. Because I don't see any way to... Can we just leave? Yeah. We can just leave anytime we want to. But, I mean, does that make it right? I don't, I don't know. There's nothing here for me to click on. Like, nothing at all for me to click on. Hello, sir. I have attended your class. It looks like I am the only one. Hope you have been revising, Jason. I have a surprise test for you. A bear walks south for one mile, then west for one mile, then it walks north for one mile, and ends up at the same point from which it started. What color is the bear? Fluorescent yellow, of course. Oh, wrong answer. Okay. If he walks south for one mile, then west for one mile, then north for one mile, and then ends up at the same point from which he started, what color is the bear? Uh, that should be a brown bear, right? No? How am I supposed to... Riddles. Oh, God, riddles. I'm no good at riddles. A bear walks south for one mile, then west for one mile. A bear. A bear does not say a color. What color is the bear? Red? Have to be red, right? No? White? The bear is white because it's a polar bear. You didn't say polar bear. Oh, polar riddles. Oh, God. North Pole is the only place on Earth where a bear can go south, west, and north equal distances and end up where it started. Uh, of course. What is black when you buy it, red when you use it, and gray when you throw it away? Black, red, charcoal. Congratulations, two out of two so far. What is the only letter in the alphabet that does not appear anywhere in the periodic table of elements? J. Don't ask me how I knew that. I am not that smart. I guessed. Which body part are sharks missing? Uh... They do not have a tongue. Oh. They don't have ears. They have a tongue? No. Bones? They have, like, little cartilage things. Don't they? Congratulations, you passed the test. You learned something new about science today. Quest updated. Cool. We're done with school. Hopefully. Uh, let's go see. Attend English class. Oh, crap. Okay, let's go find the English class. I think it's downstairs. I think it's on the way out. Man, I was really looking forward to getting out of here. Okay, though. We'll actually get into some of this game past the, the library. So, guys, this is more of a tutorial than it is anything, just so you know. You can skip it, but I kind of wanted to play it to kind of get the feel of the game and show you guys the feel. Of oh, my goodness. Please take a seat, Jason. Mrs. Brown says. Thank you, Jason. Today we'll be looking at one of my favorite books and that you'll all need to study for your next exams. Okay, everyone, turn to chapter three. Lucy, please start reading. Okay, Mrs. Brown. It said she began a long time ago. Beautiful goddess is known as Avern walked this earth. Many say that she was the earth 
in a human form. Though nobody knew for certain whatever the truth, she exerted a powerful influence over the people. She became her followers and built a city in her honor. Some became, some became her followers and built a city in her honor. One day, the others who did not follow her turned up against her, and they were under the leadership of her brother, Caleb. He was full of jealousy and sought to control the magical powers in the Everin, Everin and her followers commanded. Fantastic, Lucy. We'll read. Well read. Okay, class, think about the story and that Caleb is so jealous, jealous of his sister. What did he really seek? That's what I want you to think about. And that is your homework. Write 300 words on why Caleb sacrificed... Oh my god, 300 words. Caleb sacrificed all for power. And why Averin... Averin? Averin. Averin sacrificed even more to save her people. Quest update. Woohoo! Home time. Sweet. Let's go. Why is nobody else moving? Guys, we can go home now. What are y'all doing? Get up. Crazy people. All right. Uh, it seems that we have... Let's make sure here. Explore the hut. Sweet. Uh, sorry, we're going to have to do that in the next episode. This episode ran a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, so I hope you're enjoying this so far. Please do come back and watch more of these because this was just basically uh, how the game operates. Kind of a, uh intro to what you're going to be doing. Uh, as I read in the very beginning, there is a ton to this game. You can go fishing, you can farm, you can, you know, crafting skills, all this other kind of stuff that you can do. So uh, come back and watch more with me because there is so much more to do. Uh, we will get to the uh, the hut in episode two. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good one. Later, guys.